I'm going to show you how to add a family name to your family name shadow box file. So we've already opened the file in Cricut Design Space. If you need help um, getting to this point, I have another video linked in the instructions. Um, so you can see that when you load the file into Cricut Design Space, it comes with the shadow box cut files as well as uh, the alphabet here. And so now we need to um, do a couple things in order to separate these letters to get them um, onto the layer that we want them. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click anywhere on this file and you can see that these two layers are grouped. Um, and the first thing we want to do is ungroup them. So with the bounding box highlighted around them, we're going to go down in the um, layers panel on the right hand side up on the top and we're going to click this little icon that says ungroup. Okay, now we should be able to click outside and then back inside the um, image and you can see that they are separated now. So now we want to add our name to the white layer here um, to cut it so that it cuts out when we make our project. So the first thing we're going to do is go over here to the right hand side on the layers panel. I am going to um, click this little arrow here and close up these layers just so that it's easier to navigate. And I'm going to turn off all the other layers just for now so I can see what I'm doing. So when you highlight a layer, you can see on the right hand side, there is this little eyeball. Um, if you click on that, it just, uh, it just turns off the layer from the view right now. So I'm going to do that to all the layers that we don't want, uh, just to make it easier for me to see. So now the only layer that is visible is the white layer with the words the family um, here. That's the one we want to cut out our family name from. So now we need to put the letters um, where we want them. So we're going to go to the letter layer and we're going to double click and on the letter that we want. And I prefer to copy and paste them so I'm not removing them from this layer. So I'm on a Mac, I'm going to click Command C and then Command V to copy and paste and it puts it way over here, which is fine. And I'm just going to drag it approximately where I want it. I'm not gonna worry too much about where it is because we're gonna fix it uh, in a minute. So I'm gonna keep doing that process, double clicking on the letter that I want, uh, copying and pasting, and then moving it to the approximate location uh, without worrying too much about exactly where it is. Double click, copy, paste. Double click, copy, paste. And move it. Double click, copy, paste, and move it here. Okay, so now I have all my letters and you know they're a little bit wonky, which is fine. So what I want to do is adjust, align them so that they're all um, correctly aligned. So I'm gonna hold down the N, uh, or hold down the Shift key and then select each individual letter, click on each letter, and then I'm gonna, with all of them selected, go up here to Align and I'm going to choose center vertically. And now they are all on the same vertical plane. However, I do think I want to adjust them a little bit. So I'm going to click outside and then just click um, on the letters I want to adjust and just use the arrow key to go left and right until it looks good. And you don't want them to overlap at all. Okay, now I want to center the name um, in the middle of this file so that it looks good. So again, I'm going to click the letters and hold the shift key down to select each letter in the name. And then I'm going to go 
down here um, in the lower right hand corner and click combine and I'm going to click this word weld. Okay, now this name is all one layer and you can see in the layers panel um, it is a single layer, there's no arrow there, so that's good. So now I wanna select that layer and hold down shift and select the layer beneath it that we want to attach it to. And I'm going to go up here and click a line or up um, on the top menu, select a line and then select center horizontally. And there you go. It moves it right into the middle of um, that layer, which is exactly what I want. I think it looks really good. If you need to make a couple of adjustments, you can. Um, but now we need to cut those layers out of this layer so that when you cut it in your cardstock, um, the name cuts itself out of this layer. Okay, with both the family name layer and um, the cut layer selected, and you can look over here to make sure both layers are highlighted, then we're going to go down to this uh, lower right hand menu and we're going to click the word attach and now you can see that there are cut lines in this layer um, which when you make your project it will cut the name out of this layer the next thing that we have to do before we make our project is we have to delete um, the letter layers because you don't want the, all those letters getting cut out of your Cricut project so all you have to do is click on the layer and hit delete on your computer and it deletes it. But now if we make the project right now, it's only going to uh, cut out this one layer. So we wanna go back over here to the layers panel on the right hand side and unclick those little eyeballs on the right so that we have each layer uh, ready to go. Now you're ready to make your project. So you can go ahead and go to the upper right hand corner and click make it. Choose uh, your materials. I recommend choosing on a mat with cardstock. Confirm your size and you can see you are ready to go ahead. Um, it does not load the colors necessarily in the order that you will construct the project, but each layer except for the top layer has um, a number cut out of it so that you know where to place each layer in your final project. And then you just go ahead and click continue and load your paper and follow the Cricut instructions and make your project.